What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Bullet Scientist, and I'm back with another video. I told you guys I'm gonna be going ham with these videos. You guys are gonna be getting them close to back to back. I'm not gonna say back to back, but um, I'm here at my old high school. Um, me and Ghost gonna be working out a little bit. I'm gonna get him, like, I'm gonna start working him because I need to strengthen his passions. But so far, so good. Uh, we ran over here for a little bit, and uh, he's got a good little workout, little uh, warm-up going already. I'm going to let you guys check him out right now. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? Hey, sit. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Stay. No. Stay. He's got a good little workout going already. For a, for a six-month-year-old, man, this dude has a big head already. Come on. Let's go. So I'm gonna be running up and down these uh these steps. I'm gonna see if I can get him to, to come. Uh he was having he was kind of scared coming up these little steps right here. So I'm gonna see if he follows me. Um, hold, on. hold on guys. So yeah, he's already a little bit winded. Oh man, that thing is freaking loud. Damn hawk. But he's already a little winded, as you guys can see. I'm gonna get a little bit, I'm gonna run up and down here probably like about three times just to get him working. Cause we still gotta walk home. So it'll be a good enough workout for him. So you guys stay tuned. Hey, I ain't ran since prior since I played football. Uh, we get a little break real quick because that winded me. Ready? Huh? Ready again? Oh, uh, you ain't ready. Let me show you guys something. He's laying down. Ready? Huh? One more. One more. Put you guys back real quick. But uh, I think that's a good workout for him. For me, I still gotta go to the gym later on, so I'll probably ride the bike with some cardio. You guys can see he's winded already. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Just trying to get him to walk more. Come on, boy. Good. he doesn't have that problem right now that soft palate problem and the pinch snares because i know a lot of bullies have that problem come on let's go let's see you can figure it out yeah man he's he's a good dog man let's go 
Let's go. He's tired. We'll give him a little break. Go find some shade for him to sit down. Do a little nice little rear on him. What's good, fam? I'm gonna be doing a, a voiceover on this clip right here. Guys, let me know how you guys feel about these voiceovers. Um, with me talking and the music playing in the background. I think that's pretty dope. But anyways, I'm gonna be talking about the American Bully. So, the American Bully is basically a pit bull on roids. Now, they should have the same structure as the American Pit Bull Terrier, but the head should be bigger, blockier. The bone on this dog should be thicker. The muscles should be bigger. Now, when it comes to their face, their eyes should be almond shaped. They shouldn't have those circular eyes that pop out out of their head like a chihuahua or a frenchie. Now, the skin on the dog's face should be tight. They shouldn't have no wrinkles. And when it comes to their bite, their bite should be... When it comes to... When, people, when you hear people say a clean bite what that means is their top teeth line up with their bottom teeth now you can also have a slight overbite and what that is is when their top teeth slightly overlap their bottom teeth now what you don't want is an underbite now an underbite is basically when their bottom teeth overlap their top teeth now that's more of an exotic bully look. So that's basically what an American bully should look like. Now, when it comes to the exotics, I have no problem with an exotic, but at least make a cleaner exotic. It's my opinion, and in my opinion is what we should be striving for. Except people are so money hungry and they're getting these dogs with exaggerated features with the boat out elbows and you know, the crazy underbites and stuff like that but i don't i won't get in too deep with that with the exotics i'll leave that for another video but anyways that's enough on that if you guys want to hear more about that you guys drop a comment below and um let me know if you guys want to hear more about that uh, but basically here i'm showing you guys you know he's a fairly decent bully right now he's not as bully as i would like but with this blood i know it pops a lot later um, with her with his dad i i know he didn't start to pop to about 13 months i want to say and what you guys can see right here you can see his rear looks high and his back's all dented in that's mainly because he's leaning back you can tell because his Back feet are directly underneath his uh, his butt, as you guys can see. Uh, but if I were to scoot his back feet back to where his hocks are about 90 degrees and get him to lean forward just a little bit to where his chest is directly above his front feet, you'll see his top line, you know, kind of even out. But he does have a slight high rear. You can see it when he walks. But I don't know, he, he also keeps his head down and his joints and ligaments aren't as strong as what they would be as if he were an adult. But check him out guys, he has a nice little rear on him already for his age. He's pretty bully to me. Yeah. Wait till he hits about 10 to 13 months and then we'll judge him. Yeah guys. He's thirsty, guys. <laughs> I put him up here before, and he and he was still trying to get up here. So I'm gonna let him drink. I don't want him to get too full though, because then he's not gonna want to walk. We still got a ways home. But look at that boy's face. That's the look that I want in my program. Nice 90 degree stop. Boxy snout. You guys can see the jaw. See the jaw line. Nice top score. 
This guy's gonna have a big head. Look at him. Six months. So I plan on working him about three to four days out of the week. I don't plan on overworking him. You guys already know how that is. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna get into the show ring with him. Hopefully, um, if I'm not too busy, I know I have a busy schedule, but I'm gonna make time to start working him. You know, I really like how he's coming along. So I'm gonna start giving him more attention and more work but as of right now he's he's still puppies what six months and he's already turned he's already has a bigger head than his mom had let's see let's see if i can get a uh, better lighting he's had a, he has a bigger head than his mom had at that age and but he's also shorter so uh i think he's gonna be a nice bull so we're gonna work with him until he's about, we're, well, we're gonna continue working him, but you know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be in the show ring come this year. We should be in, in there. Uh, there should be a lot of shows coming up soon. Uh, fun shows that is. Um, I don't think he's like show quality, like, you know, eight up to ABKC standards. Well, I don't know, he's not done growing. So anything can happen from now and then. Um, I know his dad didn't really start to pop, pop, pop until he was about 13 months. So, but he's already showing signs of like being big. So, yeah, guys. Hey, come here. Hey, get over here. I'll let you guys see this guy real quick and then I'm going to end this video. Hold on real quick. Come on. He's tired already, he's walking off. But yeah, guys, you guys can see him. He's turning out nice. He's very tired, look at him. So uh, I'm gonna end this video, guys. Um, <laughs> he's tired. But yeah, you guys make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is the Bully Scientist, and I'm out.